there's a wide variety of cluster munitions, hundreds of different types. But basically, it is a large weapon that can drop out of an airplane or be shot out of an artillery system or a rocket system that opens up in midair and disperses dozens, usually hundreds, of much smaller bomblets or submunitions that are designed to explode on impact. What appeals to the military about this weapon is also what causes the humanitarian problem. You may have a specific military target in mind, but particularly if they're used anywhere near civilian areas, they inevitably spread out and kill or injure civilians. Landmines are so very dangerous because they don't distinguish between a civilian and a soldier. But you have to touch it to actually set it off. The problem with a cluster bomb is you don't need to step on it. You don't need to kick it. The wind could just blow it over. And once that trigger goes in, that's it. It's going to explode. And at best, you're maimed. And at worst, you're dead. Yeah, we can't. We can't. We, can't so we headed to southern Lebanon to do a, uh, an assessment of what basically what had happened. And immediately what jumped at us is just the number of uh, unexploded cluster bombs that were everywhere. When we got to a village called Aita Shab, um, they told us that uh, three kids had just been injured playing with a cluster bomb. The kids had been attracted by this little unexploded bomb. And then one of the kids picked it. The other two yelled at her to throw it. And as she threw it, it exploded. All three had shrapnel in them. <laughs> When the artillery round comes down, the fuse lets it out, open up and they just spread all over the area. And, you know, it can be anywhere up to a football field size radius. They'll set the, um, the range that they want it. Basically, it's everywhere. Everywhere you go, you'll have some problem with unexploded ordnance, specifically cluster bombs. Each one of these red circles, they refer to a cluster bomb strike location. The United States has used cluster munitions more often and uh, in greater numbers than any other country. فنناشد العالم بأن يجونا كل يوم قنابل متفجرة وظلت في البيوت مالتنا ونخاف من إحنا صاحبين أطفال وبيوت وخاف لا تتفجر. When the U.S. Air Force used clusters in Iraq, uh, it very much stayed away from populated areas. Unfortunately, the U.S. Army didn't get the, didn't get the message, and they lobbed uh, hundreds of thousands of submunitions into Baghdad and other populated areas. There are billions of submunitions in the arsenals of more than 70 countries around the world. If these billions of submunitions do get used, we'll have a humanitarian disaster that far outstrips the landmine crisis.